Here we have two samples which are plastic and tissue paper. Let's take a look at the first sample. A droplet of colored liquid is placed on the surface of the plastic. As you can see, the droplet beat up and stay as they are and do not spread on the plastic surface. The same method is carried out on tissue paper surface. However, the outcome is different. So why did this happen? When a drop of water is placed on the plastic surface which is made up of non-polar group, the cohesive forces among the water molecules are stronger than the adhesive forces between the water molecule and the plastic molecule. The water will resist separation and cause the water to retain a spherical shape and beat up on the surface. On the other hand, the water molecules spread up completely on the surface of tissue. In this case, the adhesive forces between the water molecules and the tissue molecules are stronger. They will pull the water molecule down, causing it to wet the surface. There are three forces acting on a drop of liquid on a solid surface. The surface energy between liquid and gas, liquid and solid, and gas and solid. This angle is called equilibrium contact angle. Therefore, a balance of this force in equilibrium can be written like this. Okay. For the plastic surface, we can observe the angle is more than 90 degrees. This is the reason why the droplet does not wet the surface. For the tissue paper surface, we can observe the angle is less than 90 degrees. And this is the reason why the water droplet forms a thin film and wetting the surface completely. Wetting present in everyday life from the movement of droplets of rain over a windshield to ink writing on paper. Now let's have a look at some of the examples. Adding hydrophobic rain repellent glass treatments to the windshields causes water to bathe and roll off the windshield surface to improve visibility and safety. While on the other hand, applying a hydrophilic anti-fog coating to glass causes any condensation to form into a thin, even layer of water instead of droplets so the glass remains transparent. When it comes to chemical engineering, wetting phenomena predominates in the use of packed towers in distillation column. Flow condition and the use of distributors in a packed column is always adjusted in order to improve the wettability of interior of the column. Those structure packing has their surfaces treated chemically in order to enhance their wettability. Consequently, their wetter area will improve the column's performance. That's all from me, thank you.